Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm here again, your mom had yours for me. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on the new video. Now, I will be discussing on how to construct a pie graph based on a given set of data. So, dito ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano tayo gagawa ng isang pie graph o yung tinatawag natin circle graph. So, let's have a problem here. In a school, there are 750 students in a year one, 420 students in a year two, and 630 students in year three. Draw a pie graph to represent the numbers of students in this group. So, itong example na ito, ito yung makikita din ninyo sa module uh, ng Region 4A. So, I will be discussing paano na po yung graph. Now, first, let's have a table here. So, gawa tayo ng table. Sa table, nandun yung tatlong groups, yung year 1, year 2, year 3. At yung bilang ng students sa bawat grupo. At naandito, nakita nyo, blanco yung percent at the queen. So, here are the steps on how to construct a circle graph. Step 1, solve for percent. Now, paano ba natin isosolve itong percent? So, pag solve ng percent, kung naalala nyo yung uh, ating uh, lesson sa PRB, yan yung gagawin natin. So, percent dito is equal to 750 divided by the total number of students which is 1,800. Ito, yung total natin, 1,800. Paano na ko yung total? Pinag-add lang tong tatlong bilang ng group. So, we have 750 divided by 1,800 times 100. Kung nakita niyo yung symbol dito, hindi siya equal symbol. Ang tawag dito ay uh, estimatedly 42%. So, ang nakuha natin, pag i-divide natin 750 sa 1,800 is 0 0.42 times 100 is approximately 42%. So, kung mapapansin nyo, sa inyong, uh, sa inyong module, hindi siya 42%. Now, itong 42%, rounded ko lang siya. Rounded into the nearest hundreds, nirawang ko lang siya. Sa inyong module, makikita nyo na nakalagay dyan ay diretsong solution, which is, ang nakalagay sa module nyo ay, wait, ang nakalagay sa module nyo ay 700, seven hundred fifty over 1,800 um, times 360 degree. So, yun sa module ay ganun ang nakalagay, which is uh, derecho siya sa pagkukompute ng degree. So, ang ginawa dito, nakuha nilang sagot, kinanzal ito, this will become 1, this will become 5. So, naging 750 divided by 5 na lang. which is equal to 150 degrees. Ito yung nakalagay sa module nyo. Nag-cancel sila, kaya sakto yung nakuha. So, sakto yung nakuha kasi yung ginawa nila 750 divided by 1,800 times 360 kasi diretso na siya sa degree. Ang nakuha niya ay 150 degree. This is correct. This is the exact, the exact degree. Pero dito, ang ginamit ko, uh, 750 divided by 1,800, ang nakuha ko is 0 0.416, which is repeating digit. So, in-round ko siya, that is equal to 0 0.42 times 100, naging approximately 42%. So, ayan yung nakuha nating percent. Pero sa, sa module ng... Uh, Learn, uh, sa learner's packet, 
walang inilagay na percent. So, nagdiretso siya sa degree. Ito, ipinakikita ko dito kung paano muna kunin yung percent at paano natin at bakit ba kailangan yung percent. Mamaya, ma-explain ko kung bakit kailangan yung percent. Now, percent tayo sa group year 2. That is 420 divided by 1,800 times 100 times 100 approximately 23%. So, ang ginawa naman sa inyong module is 420 divided by 1,800 times 360. Cancel uli. Cancel. This will become 5 and this will become 1. Equals 420 divided by 5 which is equal to 80 4 degrees. So, nilagay dito is 84 degrees. Mamaya, uh, pakita ko yung na-compute nating degrees. Pero parehas lang siyang tama. This is 84 degrees. So, mamaya pa itong degrees natin. Nakikita ko lang kung ano yung nakuha sa mundo nyo at bakit magkaiba. Now, let's proceed to group 3. That is 630 divided by 100, 1,800 times 100 is 35 percent. So sa module, ang nakalagay ay 630 divided by 1,800 times 360. Cancel. This will become 5. This will become 1. So it will become 630 divided by 5. So the answer is uh, That is equal to 100.6. So, ito yung nakuha sa inyong module 100.6. So, ito yung exact na degrees. So, unahin ko muna. Ang first na ginawa natin, step one is to compute for percent. Ayan yun. Huwag nyo munang anuhin itong nakalagay dito. Kasi pinakita ko lang kung bakit. Ano yung nasa module nyo. Now, step two. Disregard yung muna itong mga degrees na nand nandito. Step 2, ayan. But anyway, dapat pala, ito ay equal to 100%. Na. So, step 2 is solve for the degree. Doon sa, sa lip nyo or doon sa learner's pocket, diretso na degree yung uh, nakokompute. Pero dito, pinakita ko muna kung paano kunin yung percent. Bakit ba kailangan yung percent? Yung percent, kailangan nyo para makuha nyo kung gaano kalaki yung angle ng bawat portion. Ano? So, meaning here, we have 42%. Yung year 1, para makuha mo yung degree, we need to multiply 42% times 360 degree. Bakit ba 360 degree? Kasi, ang isang circle, yan ay equal to 360 degree. At ang semicircle or yung half circle that is equal to 180. Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, circle graph. So ang isang circle that is equal to 360 degree, a total of 360 degree. Now, let's proceed to year 2. So yung year 2 is 23%. So kung balik tayo Kung mapapansin nyo, ito, 151, that is equal to 151.2 degrees. ba? So, dun sa inyong module, that is equal to 150. Almost, konti lang naman yung diferensya. Kasi bakit nagkaroon ng pagkakaiba? Dito kasi, nag-round tayo. Nag-round tayo dito sa 42% natin. Dun sa module nyo, diretso siya, diretso siya nag-compute ng degree. So, walang rounding na naganap. Now, let's proceed to year 2. That is 23%. Ano ba yung 23% na circle graph? So, 23% times 360 is equal to 82.8 degrees. And the group 3 is 35% times 360 equals 126 uh, degrees. So, kung mapapansin nyo, sakto. Sakto to kasi dito, hindi naman tayo nag-round. Sakto yung nakuha natin 35%. So, kung tinotal mo lahat yan, that is equal to, pag in mo tong tatlo, it should be equal to 360 degrees. 
Yeah. So, step three is to draw a circle using a compass. So, bakit kailangan ng compass? Kasi pag nag-drawing ka lang, gamit ang isang bilog na bagay at in-raise mo yung bilog, hindi mo ma-identify yung circle, yung kanyang center. So, sa isang circle graph, dapat alam mo kung nasaan ang center. Hindi mo uhulaan kung ang nasaan ang center. Dapat gagamit ka ng compass. So here, let's draw a circle with a center. Ito yung step natin kanina, solve 4%. Step 2 is solve 4 degree. Step 3 is to draw a circle using a compass. So draw tayo ng circle. Ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang center. Hindi nyo dapat hulaan kung nasa ng center. Kapag gumamit kayo ng compass, Kung nasa inyong pinaka-mark ng point ng compass, dapat make sure na ang compass nyo pag ginamit nyo, hindi nababago yung position. Kasi yung center niya, fixed dapat. Hindi pwedeng dalawa yung tuldok. No, isa lang yung center. Now, draw a circle using a compass. Ibalik natin yung ating table kanina. Use a protractor to draw each angle, then label each section. So, nagamit tayo ng protractor. So, dapat meron kayong uh, protractor na hawa. Hindi pwede manghula kung gaano kalaki ba yung uh, 151.2 degrees. So, here, ayan. Balikan natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, gumawa ako ng initial line. No? Or reference line. Bakit ako gumawa ng reference line? Diyan ko itatapat yung zero. At itong center, dapat doon nakatapat yung center ng compass. Itong buhit na to, doon dapat nakatapat ang zero ng compass. I'm not, not na compass, the protractor. So, kuha tayo ng protractor. Tapat natin dito sa line yung zero. Ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung zero, yung medyo naka -ano. Dapat sakto-sakto siya doon sa line. Ha? At itong center ng compass, ito, kung may intersection, nakatapat siya sa center ng compass. So ngayon, balik tayo doon sa table natin. I-drawing natin yung 151.1 oh, degrees or doon sa module nyo 150. Walang problema. No? Sa, sa module, kung hanapin nyo yung sa module 150, eto. Ayan siya. Pero i-drawing muna natin yung nasa table natin. Which is 152. Ito yung zero natin. Kung mapapansin nyo, nandito may zero din kasi yung protractor natin balik na rin. Hindi ka dito magsisimula. Hindi ka dito magsisimula ng bilang. Kasi yung terminals, yung reference line mo na andito sa kabila. So, eh dito ka magbibilang. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So, ito yung 150, yung 151. So, lalampas siya ng konti. So, nasan ba yung 151 natin? Ayun. And then, kapag na lagyan niyo ng mark, yung 151, kung nasaan, lagyan niyo ng mark dito sa side ng circle, and then after that, connect with a line. Ayun. So, that is our year one. Next. Itong group na to, 420, uh, 82.8 degrees. So, tanggalin natin si protractor. So, ito na yung una nating uh, region or yung section ng year 1. Punta tayo sa susunod, which is the year 2, which is 82.8 degrees. So, yung protractor natin, hindi na dito naka, hindi na dito ang reference line. Ang reference line na niya ay ito. Ayun na yung bago. Iikot na natin yung protractor natin. Ayun. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang zero natin, nakatapat na doon sa last nating line na ginawa. Ito yung zero. At ito pa rin yung gitna ng protractor, nakatapat pa rin siya sa center ng ating circle. So now, draw natin yung 82.8. We have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Ito yung 80. So, lalampas ng, ng dalawang buhit. So, nasa ng 82 natin? 82 point, almost 3 lines. 82 point, ayun. So, lagyan nyo ng marks. Lagyan nyo ng marks dito. Tapos, i-connect nyo ng line. 
Ayun, ang ating 82.8 degrees. Now, tingnan natin kung gaano kalaki yung bridge na yan. So, ito na yon. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ayan, ang ating... So, kailangan pa ba nating sukatin itong natitira, which is 126? So, hindi na kasi tatlong region lang naman siya, tatlong sections. So, hindi mo na kailangan sukatin. Kung tama yung sukat mo dun sa dalawa, exactly yung matitira para sa year 3. Now, what is next? Next is to label each section. Ayan. So, huwag yung kalilimutan. Baka magkabalik na yung label nyo. So, kung mas maganda, after nyo masukat yung angle, lagyan nyo na siya ng label. So, dito, pwede mo siyang kulayan. Yung bawat section, pwede mong kulayan. Hmm. Eh, wala kong pang color. Pwede natin kulayan yung bawat section ng iba't ibang kulay o pwede mong lagyan ng texture, pwede mo kulayan na kung ito ay red, red, tapos kung ito naman kabila ay blue, gandahan nyo lang yung kulay, pinapakita ko lang. Kaya lang dito kasi sa nagawa ko, hindi ko siya makulayan. Ito ay yellow. So, ibig sabihin, each uh, section of your circle graph can be represented by colors na pwede nyo siyang kulayan. Yung iba naman, merong ginagawa, may nilalagay na later. Now, what is next? After mong malagyan ng label, Siyempre, what is next is to write a title for the graph. So, the number of students in three groups. So, ito yung title natin. So, ito yung pinaka-circle graph ng ating problem kanina. Let's have another problem. Ayan, Mrs. Reyes surveyed 40 students about their favorite books. The results of the surveys are as follows. Draw a pie graph to display the data. So, nag-survey siya sa apat na pong estudyante kung anong paborito ng nilang libro. Ito yung lumabas. Storybook, may 20 students na bumoto. Comic books, 10 students yung paborito ang comic, comic books. Poem books or poem books, 5 students. At puzzle book is 5 students. Total niya, 40 students. Now, step 1, solve 4%. So, we have 20 divided by 40 times 100 is 50%. Exacto. So, we have 10 divided by 40 times 100 is 20%. Then, we have 40, I mean 5 divided by 40 times 100 is 12.5%. At parehas lang nitong sa puzzle book, 12.5%. That is equal to 100%. Step 2 is solve for the degree. We have 50% times 360 is equal to 180 degrees. 25% times 360 degree is equal to 90 degrees. 12.5% divided, I mean multiplied by 360 degrees is equal to 45 degrees. So parehas lang ito is equal to 360 degrees. Now, step 3 is to draw a circle using a compass. Now, drawing tayo ng circle. Ayan, nandiyan na center. Ito yung reference line. Itapat natin yung protractor. Step 4 is use the protractor to draw each angle. Ayun ang ating protractor. And then, i-draw natin yung unang book, which is the storybook, that is equal to 180 degrees. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung isang protractor, ang katumbas niya ay semicircle, which is 180 degrees. So now, let's draw or let's find 180. Ayun siya. So i-connect natin with a line. So that will be the storybook. So ito yung ating storybook. Which is... 180 degrees. Or pwede mong isulat 20 students. Ano? Depende. Pwede mong isulat yung 20 students. Yung iba, sinusulat din yung degree. Pero sa akin, label, ano ba yung uh, book na yun at anong katumbas nun? Or if hindi mo sinulat yung 20, pwede mong isulat ay 50%. So, any of the data or kung ano yung, kung ano yung original na given data, yun ang isulat nyo. Dahil originally, Ito yung data natin eh. 
So, pwede mong isulat storybook 20. Ayan. Next. So, ibinaliktad ko na yung protractor. Ang terminal line na niya, i-disrolin natin yung simulat. Which is, uh, hanapin natin yung comic book, 90 degrees. Ayan. 90 degrees is equivalent to right angle. Right angle. So, hanap si 90 degrees. Ayun. And then, put a line there. So, that is 90 degrees. So, ito naman, nagre-represent ito sa ating comic book. Which is equal to 10 students. Next, 45 degrees. So, ikot natin si protractor natin. Ayan. Hanapin si 45 degrees. Ayun, kalhati siya ng 90 degrees. Connect a line. So, that is the 45 degrees, which is point book. Ten. So, yun natin tira. Puzzle book na siya. Hindi na natin siya susukat. Kasi tama na may sukat natin. So, next is, ayun nga, label. Nilabel lang ko na. Or nilagyan ko din dito ng label. Ayan. And then, put a title, which is a student's favorite book. So, eto na ang ating circle graph para sa ating example problem. So, pwede nyo kulayan yung each section na iba't ibang color. Be creative on how to present your, your circle graph. So, that's how we construct a circle graph. That's how easy. So, dapat lang meron kang gamit which, which are compass protractor. At the same time, alam mong compute yung ating percent at yung degree ng bawat section. So, now... That's in the, uh, my discussion. Simple discussion. Isiningit ko lang talaga siya. Sorry, medyo napatagal yung pag-upload ko ng video kasi ay masyadong madaming ginagawa. So that's it for our lesson on how to construct a circle graph. If you have any question, just comment down below your question para masagot ko ang inyong tanong. Alright, so thanks for watching. Mm, so, shout out ako kay Angelica Derama at saka kay Althea Bianca. Thank you for watching my video. Sana nakatulong ang aking video. If you like this video, please hit the like buttons and share this video to your friends, classmates, and teachers. Alright, that's it for today. Goodbye!